everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this beautiful puff bordered shawl. Now this shawl is fantastic because as you work it, you work these side borders at the same time. So you can work it in one complete piece and in this video I will show you start, the main body and how to finish with this lovely puff border edge at the top. Now because this shawl has a very decorative edge but quite a nice plain middle section, not only is it very warm, it's also fantastic for showing off your variegated yarns. It does of course work up beautifully in a solid colour yarn and is ideal for those ombre cake type yarns as well. To begin we're going to start with a magic ring and from that magic ring we're going to chain two. Now into the magic ring we're going to work our puff stitches. It is completely up to you how many yarn overs you want to do for your puffs. I like my puff stitches to be super fat and puffy so I do four yarn overs. However that is very yarn hungry so if you prefer to do three instead of four that is completely up to you. But the way I do mine is yarn over, go into the magic ring, pull up a loop, that's one, Again, that's two, again, that's three, and again, that's four. Now, like I say, I like a very generous puff. To finish your puff stitch, you're going to yarn over and pull through everything except this last loop on your hook. So no matter how many yarn overs you've done, pull through everything bar that very last loop, and you'll have two loops on your hook. Then yarn over and pull through those two to finish your first puff stitch. Chain two and work another puff stitch into this magic ring. So yarn over, and draw up a loop nice and tall four times in total. So that's one, two, three, four. Yarn over and pull through everything bar this very last loop. Then yarn over and pull through those last two to complete your puff. Chain two. And puff stitch back into the magic ring. One, two, three, four, yarn over. and then pull through the last two to complete that puff. Now you can go ahead and close up your magic ring. So you should have three puff stitches with two chain two spaces in between. Chain two and turn. Now into this first chain two space, we're going to work a puff. Chain two. Another puff into that exact same chain two space. chain two and one more puff back into that same chain two space. Chain two and into this next chain two space we're going to work puff, chain two, puff, chain two, puff. My first puff, chain two, repeat that again. Chain two and end with a final puff. Chain two. 
chain two and turn. Now from this point on, we're going to be building the puff border edge and the body of the shawl at the same time. So into this first chain two space, we're going to work puff stitch, chain two, puff stitch. You're going to start all subsequent rows this way. Puff, chain two, puff. Then chain two. Into this next chain two space, work two double crochet stitches. That's one. That's two. Into the next chain two space, work one double crochet stitch and then into the next chain two space work two double crochet stitches chain two and we're going to end the same way as we began puff chain two puff into this very last Chain two space. So every row from this point on will start with puff, chain two, puff then a chain two, and we'll end with chain two, puff, chain two, puff. Chain two and turn. In between the puffs of the row below, work puff, chain two, puff. chain two, then into the chain two space below, place two double crochet stitches. Then place a double crochet into the top of each of your double crochet stitches from the row below. You should have five. Work two double crochet into this chain two space. Chain two. And end with your puff border, which is puff, chain two, puff, into the chain two spaces of the puff below. Row five is the pattern repeat row. What that means is you will follow this next row for the full desired length width of your shawl before we begin the top edge border. So we're going to chain two and turn. Work your puff border edge into the chain two space in between those two puffs from the row below. And that is puff stitch, chain two, puff stitch. Chain two. 
then work two double crochet into the chain two space below. Then place a double crochet in all your double crochets of the row below. Each time your row will grow by four extra double crochet stitches. So we had five here, we'll have nine in this next row. Once you've worked into all the double crochets from the row below, place two double crochets into this chain two space. Then chain two and end with your puff border into the chain two space of the puff border from the row below. And that's puff, chain two, puff. So keep repeating this row back and forth until it is as big as you want it to be. I'm going to go ahead and crochet up just a couple more rows, then I will show you how you finish the puff top border. So meet me back here once your shawl is the size you want it to be. So I'm just finishing up crocheting my last row of my shawl obviously mine is a tiny sample size and yours will hopefully be much bigger than mine at this point but once your shawl is the size that you want it to be we need to add the puff border along the top so what you're going to do is you're going to chain two and turn and just as you have been doing work your puff border edge into the chain two space of the puffs below. So puff, chain two, puff. Now chain two and slip stitch into this chain two space below. Just pop a slip stitch in there. Then chain two and work a puff stitch into this chain two space where you just slip stitched. Now skip a double crochet stitch and single crochet into the next. Chain two, skip a stitch, single crochet into the next skip, single crochet. Chain two. And now we're going to work a puff stitch back into this chain space behind where you have just chained from. So working back into this space here, place a puff stitch. It's a bit fiddly, but aim for that chain space and draw up a loop. Skip a stitch, single crochet in the next. Chain two, skip a stitch, single crochet in the next. That's the chain space we're about to work into. So chain two and pop your puff stitch into this chain space behind where you're working back into this bit here. Skip a stitch, 
single crochet. So we're going to repeat this all the way along the tops of your double crochet stitches. Chain two, skip a stitch, single crochet in the next, chain two, work your puff stitch into that chain two space that you just created. Then skip a stitch and secure your puff down with a single crochet. Keep doing that all the way along the top of your shawl. Once you reach the last puff into the chain two space, right on the other side of your shawl, you'll notice there are no more stitches to secure it down into. So you're gonna go ahead and pop your single crochet into this chain two space. Then chain two and work your puff, chain two puff into the side edge, just as you have been doing to build this external border. So we're going to end into this chain two space with puff, chain two, puff. Then chain one, cut your yarn. Now, if you're putting tassels on yours, like I did, leave quite a nice length because you can incorporate that into the tassel itself. Pull that through, pull it tight. And if you aren't using tassels, go ahead and weave in this end and your end right from the beginning and you're done. But if you did want to attach tassels, where I have attached mine, are in the chain two spaces on these corner edges. Now, if you'd like to learn how I made these tassels and attach them to my shawl, I have a video that has popped up here and is also listed in the description box down below, but I added them into the chain two spaces of my top corners and I used my tail from the very start wove it around and then threaded it down and through into my bottom tassel here. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you are now the proud owner of a beautiful puff border shawl of your own and that you wear it with pride. So until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.